What's going on, my friends? This is Siv, and welcome back to another episode of Echo Craft. Today, this is episode number 13. We are getting up there, guys, already. It's, it's moving fast. Things are moving right along. And today, we're starting things off right over here by the Industrial District and our little iron farm and the mob farm and everything around here. So, now we put in a lot of work last episode, getting a lot of Blackstone for DC and also making a giant map art for Weasel, which is a lot of fun. He loved it, by the way. He told me he loved it, and I'm glad he did. That was amazing. It was a lot of fun to make, so we'll be sure to do more of those in the future. It was a lot of fun, and I'm already thinking of ideas of what other kind of map arts we could make. However, we need to have some fun, and I really want to blow some stuff up. Speaking of, I got some more skeleton horses. It literally, I was out there, and lightning struck right in front of me, and all these guys came down. I lost one of them, but we should probably put them up there. What do you guys think? I reckon we should. But, um, anyway, we're going to start things off by gathering all this stuff. We need a bunch of gunpowder, and we already have a bunch of sand, because, uh, as you saw in the last episode, we gathered a bunch of sand, not those, sand, for our concrete, and I gathered way too much. So, <laughs> that's good, because we're going to need that for today's episode. So let's grab a couple of these. Are these all empty? Or no. Just the one. Just the one's empty? Come on. But anyway, we're going to gather a bunch of stuff up and we are going to go make a bunch of TNT to explodify all of this area over here. It's looking pretty good. I went around and like filled in areas that were outside of the border that didn't need to be um, broken up. And we're going to start uh, blowing this up even more. So we're just going to place down a bunch of TNT, blow it up several times, uh, and have fun with it. And then we're going to actually start to get working on, like, the island itself. Alright, we've gathered up a bunch of TNT. Yes. And this is going to be a good time, so let's just start going around placing TNT. Just, just everywhere I, f I feel. I feel the need. Just put it everywhere. That's what I'm going to do. And you know what? Let's just give this a little bit of a tester here. Just for fun. I'm gonna back up. Haha! <laughs> Take that, zombie! Alright, guys, we've got replay mod pulled up. So you guys can see this in all of its glory. And then I'm just gonna get out of here because uh, it's a little dangerous. And uh, who knows what to expect. So let's head down here. I'm just gonna light it <clears throat> from right over here. And uh, just just get out. Wait, is that even lit? That didn't light. How did that- Oh, it's because I'm shift-clicking. That's why. There we go! Ah! Get out, Sam! Okay. Oh. Oh my. Oh my word. Oh my word. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna die! You know, guys, this doesn't look great. <laughs> to say the least, I'm not a huge fan at the moment. Don't worry, I've got an idea of what we're gonna do, though. Um, so you see how this kind of, it, it kind of was a river valley that kind of curved around. We're gonna kind of keep that, um, but I'm also gonna kind of fill it in, if that makes sense. So it's more of, there's more of a rim around where the hole is, and I think that'll help it make it look like something's actually being pulled out of the ground. So, I need to do a bunch of terraforming there, um, and yeah, it's gonna be a little difficult. I may use some TNT as well if we need to clear out some space because we still got plenty of TNT There's more in that shulker um, I mean every once in a while I know I can just come around here and you know hit hit a little bit of TNT and see if I can get out in time and just enjoy the show But uh, that's not gonna work for everything because it just does not look very Professional to say the least like it looks like TNT and not like an island is being ripped out of the ground Which is what we're going for so we need to do a little bit more terraforming here uh, I may even consult with Mayu on this because she's the terraforming pro So uh, let's just start ripping some of this out and see what we can come up with time for another boom boom I don't have a rocket ah! Yes all right, here's an update for you guys. Uh, we have been working around here, so we've kind of got this border. Oop, I just 
threw something out. What did I? Oh, it was my my dirt. Uh, <laughs> we have this border going around here, and it it kind of helps us uh, make it look like it's more of a ridge, like there's something caving in where this was pulled out, because that's gonna have like a rounded bottom as well. Um, so we have this right over here, which is just a little bit of pool, a little bit of pool, um, which is going to be like still overflowing. Like there's gonna be a waterfall coming off of there, like it's still continuing this water that's just being pulled up, and I think that's gonna be really cool. Uh, and we'll have a waterfall and everything like that we'll make it all fancy not just some water spilling over the side or something um, so what we need to do now is actually come in here because as you can see of course these are hollow on the inside and we need to make them like actually look like the dip of a big crevice in the earth and then we'll we'll go around uh, I'll grab a beacon and we'll get some haste too and make all this actually look like just a big underside of where a giant island would have been torn out of the ground <laughs> so let's start working on this i'm gonna pull up replay mod and we'll probably include the bottom of this building in that time lapse but first i've got something to do really quick and that is uh why am i looking in here it's in here look at this we won the prize pool from the last episode and i never actually got to use it and that does mean we have an entire block of netherite, as well as these four pickaxes. I'm just going to leave those there for now. Uh, don't need them for anything at the moment. Uh, we also got tons of emeralds and stuff. But we're going to take this netherite block, and we're going to turn all of our tools into netherite, including our armor. And we are finally, hopefully, going to have netherite uh, permanently. Not in, you know, the, uh, the way I said it last time, in which we lost it in 20 freaking minutes. Sword, done. Ho. Done. Shovel. Done. Helmet. Finished. Pants. Kablamo. And the boots. And we still have three left over for anything else we want to make. That is amazing, and I'm very happy with that. Happy to have our netherite complete. Now, uh, I ran into a skeleton horse. Now, it is finally time to hit that time lapse.
Yo ho ho ho! My word, that was one heck of a time lapse, my friends. That is looking amazing. I am really, really, really liking this thing. And do you guys also like the fact that I included some like diamond ore in there? Just just for the heck of it. Just for the heck of it. Because it looks really cool. And so we can kind of look. Look at that! Ah, oh, it's so good! I love this! I love this, I love this, I love this. So let's fly under here and I can show you guys what it looks like from the underside. It looks really good. Doesn't it? Oh man, I am loving this. Shut up! Who hit me? Go away! There he is. Go away! Anyway, uh, we're gonna have to come back to this part later. Uh, all of this stuff down at the bottom here because I... I'm so done with this for now. I've... I spent so much time working on this. Also, where did that come from? I need to fix that. Uh, but we'll do that later. Anyway, we're gonna leave this because, as I said, I did so much work. You guys saw that. There was, like, literally, like, 20 clips all jammed together in that one time lapse. But it, it turned out amazing. I'm really glad we did it. Um, but now we need to actually, you know, not keep doing that. And so I can preserve my mental stability. Also, something we need to do is tear down all of this construction work. All of the scaffolding, which I made I made so much of it. I had, like, literally, like, an entire shulker of scaffolding. Uh, and since I always tell you guys that this is the most satisfying thing in Minecraft, but I always kind of don't show it or troll you guys with it, here we go. Look at that. It's it's beautiful. Just Just enjoy it. Please, soak it all in. Love it. Live it. Laugh, love, scaffolding. Yes. How about this one? Are you happy yet? Look at it. It's beautiful. Just look at it. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It's a giant floating island in the sky with nothing to hold it up as of yet. But don't worry, we'll get there. Um, we also did a lot of extra work. Like, we dug this all the way down to here so we could make the underside look good. We also flattened out some of these mountains as well that I forgot to mention earlier. And we even added this whole thing, which is where our uh, one of our pillars is going to go. That's going to hold up this thing. So there's going to be one here, then one over here at this pole, and then one over here at this one. So there's going to be three holding it up. I think it's going to look good. Hopefully. We'll, hopefully we can do it justice. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyway... That's enough of this. Uh, we we need to come back over here because I want to have some fun. There is a gaming district, as you guys may have seen in some of the uh, other Echoes videos, such as RecRap. If you haven't seen his video, he made a really cool mini game where you go around and try to find a bunch of things in a giant mystical house. I don't know. It's really cool. You guys should go check it out. But anyway, my idea for a mini game involves these guys right here. Well, not these guys specifically, but uh, you know what I mean. First, we're gonna need one of these. As you may have noticed, there's also a bunch of scaffolding here, which is, I believe, 23 blocks above these guys? I think. 23? Is that right? I think that's correct. But anyway, as you can see, we throw our fishing rod down. Huh! We get a cow! And he's dead. But anyway, we're gonna make a game out of this, because I thought it would be cool. hi -ya! Nailed it. Uh, we need to go head over to the shop, uh, not the shopping district, the gaming district. Hey, yeah! Oh, he's, I missed. Stupid lag. But anyway, uh, these guys are gonna do us a favor. Not these guys specifically. We're actually gonna use chickens so we can replenish the game, uh, automatically. Quite innovative, if you ask me. Uh, but anyway, we converted our little chicken, chickenificator over here because we didn't need the food anymore and it never really gave us any food anyway. We convert it into an egg machine. So I'm gonna have to do some AFKing over here. There's a bunch of chickens in there getting me eggs. So I'm just gonna have to wait here. Oh my word, we already got one. But anyway, you know, I need to stop saying but anyway because uh, I probably say it about 200 times an episode. But anyway, we're gonna leave these guys here to do their thing and then we're gonna head over and make our game over there. I've already designed it in a creative world. So I think it's gonna be really cool. Uh, I really, I really enjoyed it actually. Uh, but we can start gathering up some resources now. And now it's time for video making advice with Civ. Just something you want to keep in mind, if you are using a condenser mic like I am, I use a Rode NT1, you're probably going to want to use your phantom power, or else you won't capture any audio, which is kind of exactly what happened to me with all of these files that you're seeing now. So please enjoy a montage of my failure.
Now back to the minigame, because it is a very cool minigame, so let me explain how this works. So here it is in all of its glory, guys. Sorry about those files, I know that's kind of annoying, but hey, uh, just a pro tip. Remember to turn on your phantom power, so there you go. But, uh, here we go. So we've got a big, basically just a big lava pool, and it's surrounded by glass, because obviously I don't want to, don't want anybody to fly in here and die. Of course, I am willing to bet you money that I will eventually fly in this and die. So... Um, let's come around, uh, on this side and I'll show you how it works. So we're gonna use the fishing rods like I was doing with the cows earlier. Uh, so we've got fishing rods here, and that's basically your timer. And then you've got knockback swords here, which are your two tools that you're gonna use for this. So let's read the book here. But it says, Welcome to Civ's Chicken Slapper Adventure. Rules of the game. Grab one fishing rod and one enchanted sword. Your time limit is the durability of your unenchanted fishing rod. There are materials for more rods in the black shulker below the ladder, which is right there. Uh, use your fishing rod to hook a chicken, and then proceed to slap it with your knockback sword through the hoops. Point system is large ring for 3 points, medium ring for 5 points, small ring for 8 points. Automatic bonus of 15 awarded if you can get through at least one of each ring. Don't worry, the chickens will restock after a while because we've got some redstone under there with just a little little automatic egg farm that's uh, under the lava. <laughs> um, so that'll restock itself, basically. And happy chicken slapping, Siv. P.S. Yes, you have to keep score yourself, you lazy echo. So there we go. Our, our game is pretty much complete here. And I think the best way to do this is hold your fishing rod in your offhand. So, like, let, let, let me put this in my offhand here, and I'll just show you guys how I think this is going to go down. So here we go. We're at the top of this. We just got a little trapdoor here. We got three rings. We got the, the small, the medium, and the large. And so you, get, you can see the, the point values up there. It's just right there, which is really nice. Um, this is Rex game, by the way. Very fun. I'm going to have to do that eventually in an episode. Or maybe a whole episode, like a mini episode to itself to play his game. Because it's really fun. Alright. So, we've got a bunch of chickens, right? That's, that's a lot of chickens. Like a lot, a lot of chickens. And what you do is you chuck your fishing rod down there, yank one up, and then slap it through the the hoop. <laughs> and he'll he'll die in the lava eventually. Goodbye, friend. Um, sometimes, if they if they take any damage or anything while they're still in there, if you hit them with the sword, they just die. But like their body still flies like that. See the animation still goes out, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and we just get some points in. And as you can see, the fishing rod is going down in durability really quick. So that's like, that's why I set that as like the timer. And of course, the three is really easy to get, but the eight over here, that is... Ah, I missed him. Come back! Take number two. As you can see, it is very difficult to get it over in the, the high point one. So let's see. Ugh. Go, go, go! Dang it! I missed. Ah! What did I tell you? What did I t Did I fish... How did I catch a chicken? on the way down. Bye. Okay, so here we go. I'm actually gonna do it. This this is my turn, okay? This is going in the record books just to get us started from this game for anybody else who plays it. And we'll put it in the rules book down there. We'll put our, our high score. So let's just let's just give it a go. Okay, so we try to get one right in the middle. Nailed it, so that's three. Let's get another one. Come on, get it in the two. Oh, dang it. Okay, smack him. Oh, so close. Yeah. Oh. Dang it, this is... I'm getting so close, so close. Yeah! Oh, my word! Go, buddy, go, go, go! Ugh. Go in, go in, go in. Go! No! Come back! Come on, come on, come on. Nailed it! Got a five. We definitely got a five there. Yeah! Oh, so close! Oh, I did it! I did it! I did it! He's in! Look at him! Look at him go! Good job, buddy! I got the eight! I got the eight! Nailed it! I've got maybe like two more two more lures here. Dang it. Let's just let's just go for a solid No! We'll go for a solid three! There we go. <sighs> okay. Oh, but I got but I got each of them. So that was a total of what was it? So I had twenty-two and then I got a three. So it's twenty-five plus the automatic bonus. I was in I was very impressed that I actually got that. Okay. What was the bonus? Was it fifteen? I think it's fifteen. Fifteen. So twenty-five plus fifteen. We got 40. 40 points. That's a solid... I would say that's a solid way to... To start off. Honestly. Here. Let's, uh... Let's start a new thing right down here at the bottom. 40 pints. Points. Points. Paints. Points. Alright. We'll put that back in there just for now. 
But this is going to be a really fun game. I really hope people enjoy it. It's just kind of goofy and fun. And he's, he's still chilling up there. I was still very impressed that I got that guy in there. But come on, guys. That was, that was an excellent shot, I got to say. Anyway, guys, I really think this is going to be really cool. So I'm going to put something in our uh, private Discord for all the Echoes. And uh, hopefully they'll come by and give this a go. That is going to be it for today, guys. I really do hope you've enjoyed. This has been a lot of fun for me. And I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Do make sure to leave a like for me. That is always very much appreciated. I thank you all very much for that. And if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. And hit that bell for me so you don't miss any other notifications for videos that come out in the future. Okay. Okay, here we go. This has been Civ. And I'll catch you later.